M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this is the hotspot called a UVIAJ. It's similar to the uh, the R Finder one, but it hasn't got Pi Star. Now it's got a chargeable interface, batteries. That's how much charge is left in it. We're on D Star at the moment. This is the interface. When you first see it, you think, oh yeah, it's like Pi Star, but it's actually nothing like Pi Star. So that's our dashboard. If we go to settings like so and we'll see how laggy this is go to general and you put your call sign dmr number in frequency that you want to use it on and at the bottom you save the settings okay there you are then you can go to digi modes tap it like that it's a bit it's definitely slower than pi star you get to digi modes. Now I can't find how to put the self care password in, so you, you would enable either DMR. I've managed to get YSF working, that's no problem. You enable it, select where you want to go, and that works fine. Obviously, you put the frequency in at the beginning P25 and D star. I've got D star working, no problem. There are other settings. If you want to put in your Wi Fi, you actually select services, then travel mate. I don't know why they've called it travel mate, but I, that's where you put in your Wi-Fi details. So I've just selected it. And if you scroll up, you'll see where you can start to change and apply travel mate. There it is a go to overview, then you go to wireless stations. And that's where you add your Wi-Fi in the normal way. So you've got Wi-Fi here. Now they add a couple for you. So when you first get it, it boots up with a Wi-Fi address and all you do is just add the at sign in the middle of that Wi-Fi address remove the flat line and that's your password and then you can log into it you can't log on to internet because you haven't got internet but then once you're logged in you can then add so all I did was added my home one and then moved it up by you press up and it moves it to the top because it, it, you can add several and it will keep trying for the next one so that all works fine you can log out if you want Let's look at the advanced settings and then we'll look at live logs. So in the advanced settings, you're starting to see what you would see in the expert settings of PyStar. So I'm sure that somewhere in here, you put your self-care password. Now I tried it in, where is it? If we go up to DMR, I tried it not in this section. See where it says self only, it might go there, but at the moment that's a zero. But if you go further up, you'll find another DMR one. Haven't had to change any of that. See, it says password there, and the, the, that's the default password. Now, I tried my self-care password there, but I'm not getting any, any activity from DMR. I'm getting it from, from the other stuff. So you've got, look, NXDN, all different settings here, P25Y, SF, DAPnet. So it's, it's a quite, you know, it's a lot of work being put into this. What else can we select? Let's do the live log, shall we? So you've got backup flash, reboot, LED configuration, schedule tasks, startup, administration, and system. Let's go here. Let's go to the live log. Just starting to load. And you get this on PyStar, don't you? Live logs. So there's live logs there, which never means anything to me, but it does to someone who knows what they're doing. Status, overview, firewall, root, system log, kernel log, processes. You know, these are all, aren't these all Linux type things? So the main thing is if you get one, you turn it on, obviously charge it up, turn it on, look for the O star. Oh, look at all this Linux, all Linux stuff, look. I don't know anything about Linux. Look for O star. Let's go back to administration. Look for O star in your Wi-Fi. Log into it. Like I said, put the password in with the at in between. Oh look, it seems to be re re rebooting there. Once you've got into it, then you've got that. Basically, you're adding your Wi-Fi. Oh look at that router password, SSH SSH keys. I haven't done any of that. So quite advanced, and like I said, a lot of work been put into this. Um, and then you, you're basically choosing which mode you're going to use, adding your Wi-Fi, and it comes to life. I don't know if it's perfect, because it seems to be a lot of breakup. 
Uh, yeah, that is not smooth. But I, I've got a feeling that you've got to work a bit harder on the BER settings here, which you can do. So it's just an overview. I'm quite new to it. It's a very nice looking device. You can buy them with Pi Style, which is what I recommend, because then you know what you're doing straight away. Pay the extra £40. This I actually ordered it by accident on OSTAR, but it's been a learning curve, and I'm sure a lot of people buy them because they're cheaper. But it does work. It's usable. So 7.3, we're on reflector 30 at the moment. Catch you on now, all the okay, best. Okay.